Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watch Over Realms video. It is 1251, Sunday, March the 10th. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you a pretty simple way that you can beat Faction Trials Northerners Stage 12 without Valkyra. All right, let's get to work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, we are going to Faction Trials. Trial of the Northerners, Stage 12, Power of Dominance is off. Clear the stage with the Soul Contact and deploy three mages, all right? So this one's pretty tough. Um, Valk, is, if you have Valk, it makes this stage so much easier for the tanks at the bottom. They've got shields that explode when you kill them. So you really have limited options. I've seen this done one other by one other content creator and uh, had way higher gear thresholds though and there was a lot of swapping. It was it was a very min-maxed situation. This, this strategy is much simpler. The gear thresholds are a lot lower. Uh, you don't need Elder. I've got him there as a Lord, whatever. You can use a different Lord. He's not crucial to this. Um, it'll just make you need a little bit higher gear thresholds for that extra 5%, right? But the key to this is Ajax. So there's a 10th spot here that could be used. Probably, ideally, the best person for it would be Maul. Build up your Maul um, to take care of that 10th spot, and that'll help you out in a lot. But I, I like leaving a spot or two blank just to give some flexibility for you, the audience. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk you through this. I did not change up anyone's gear for this run. So we start with Shamir. We're going to slow it down a little bit. Now we don't need to slow it down yet. After Shamir, we put Brokir as our tank. And I'm not going to finish this run, speaking of Brokir, when it gets to the last couple seconds and it's a apparent that I've that I've beaten it I've done the thing I'm gonna stop I'm gonna quit it because I also had someone ask if I could try to do a no brook here run so I'm gonna try and play with that later uh, pull Shamir when you're done with him not way after the fact I was late on that so place Nocturne next that's gonna make his ult um, you know had I placed him a few seconds earlier it would have made this a little bit easier all that means is that brook here is going to proc his unyielding most definitely that's okay, because the way that this particular run is set up, you can get through it whether he procs his unyielding at the beginning or not. Either way, it doesn't matter. Ult with Nocturne once it's full. Pull Brook here. Place Ajax. Nocturne can finish off this last guy without Brokir there. So that's why you pull him. You pull him so that you get the cost so that you can place Ajax earlier. Sorry, I should have been more specific there. Ajax starts doing work. There's a little bit of RNG here with those lightnings. You want the shields gone. Once the shields are gone, place Mari. Mari's basic attack will make them take extra damage and it slows them down. And the reason I care about the slow, even though they're not moving, is once they start moving, I want to slow down this guy in the back. Let's get Shamir up in the top left. And it's almost time to ult with Ajax, just a little bit before that guy starts moving. You could also, um, I have Ajax's exclusive on him. So if you don't have that, that lets him ult a little bit longer. You just wait a little bit longer to ult. Um, I haven't tested this without his exclusive, but my overarching assumption is that the same concept will work. You just need a little bit better gear on Ajax. So pull Mari once she has done her job. Pull Ajax once he has done his do job. Let's get Olag. Let's get Medan. So the tricky thing here, well, it's not so tricky, right? But um, that second wave of tanks down here, we have to take them out from this right side because of these axe slaughterers that come with shields. If you try to place a, a mage here, uh, when they kill 
the guy with the shield, they'll explode and, and kill your mage. So you have to kill them from this right side. Like I said, I have seen it done one other way where there was a lot of very carefully timed movements between Nocturne and Shamir. But I'm trying to make it a little bit simpler. Let's get Ajax down on the board right there, facing down. With his awesome range, he can cover all six of these tiles for these tanks that come out here. Same thing. There's a little bit of RNG here with how much he procs his lightning because that'll do additional damage, and he's not doing it right now. But as soon as the shields in the front are gone, he didn't proc his lightning at all that time. You place Mari, same thing. She's going to make him take extra magic damage. Ult with Ajax. Once it's ready. Oh, that was close. That was close. So I definitely needed that extra uptime uh, because I didn't proc any lightnings there. So you may not need the exclusive overall, but you'll probably need better gear and you'll probably need to proc a couple, uh, pull Ajax and Mari once you're done with them. Ult with Nocturne. And now that I placed Brokir, Now that I placed Brokir a second time, his unyielding effect where he freezes himself, that can take effect once per deployment. So that has been refreshed now. Oh my gosh, I just pulled Vortex. You get distracted and stuff happens, man. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to, yeah. That's so embarrassing. Uh, you hit the wrong button. Stuff happens, right? All right, I'm going to redo this. I'm going to get up to this point, and then we'll re-engage. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. So let's ult with Nocturne. Let's not pull Vortex. Let's use his ult. Give a little bit of extra shield there. Speed it up a little bit. Ult with Brokir so that all of these shields don't get him. Once we have Mari back, we place her facing up. That way she can attack, she can slow, she can make them take extra magic damage from Nocturne. And again, right, there's a 10th spot that is not being used here. So, um, like I said, Maul would be a perfect candidate for that. Throw some DPS gear on him. Let's get Ajax back up on the board, top left, because these uh, Axe Slaughters with the shields, that's going to end up killing me up here. Nocturne ult again so that he can do his job. Ult with Olag so that he survives as long as possible from these shields. There we go. Throw someone on the board just to slow him down for Ajax's ult. And there it is. That's the run. Like I said, uh, I'm not going to finish this one because someone also wanted me to try a no brook here run, and I haven't been able to play with that yet. But that's the run uh, without Valk. So use Ajax. You might need his, his um, exclusive artifact. I'll show you what I have equipped on everyone right now if you're interested in that. I haven't tested it without it, but my assumption is that you can still do it just fine, just with better gear on him. So let's go check out the gear first. Northerners. All right, so we have Ajax. He is max skilled. He has Soulbound Arcana. Looks like 19,000 attack. 300 attack speed, 234 crit damage. Could definitely be improved there. And like I said, we do have his exclusive, which makes him have extra attack during his ult and makes it last longer. Nocturne also has his exclusive, which uh, basically lets him get extra rage, does his, um, what's that? His, his true damage passive, I think. Random broken set. 16.7 attack, 4.17 attack speed, crit cap 2.87 crit damage. He is not max skilled, but his ultimate is. Shamir, also not max skilled, including his ultimate. Gear, random broken set, 
14 5 attack, 299 attack speed, crit cap 362 crit damage, artifact uh, level 1 unfortunate skill. See, nothing crazy. Brokir does have his exclusive, but if you don't have his exclusive, right, just throw a Bastion Ring on him. It'll work just as well. Gear is a Guardian set. 96k health, 9.6k defense, 250 attack speed, 41 rage regen. He is max skilled. Medan is max skilled. Uh, random auto equip, 24k health, 479 attack speed, 167 healing effect, 63% rage regen. She's not even wearing an artifact. <laughs> Mari has a level 1 Tome of Horror. Uh, better for her for this situation, probably a Nightmare Samsara so that she can actually get to ult if you need her to. Skills are maxed. Random set. We have 573 attack speed, 128 rage regen, and then Vortex. Tia's Balm. Max skilled gear. He's in a guardian set. 46k health. 314 attack speed. 32 healing effects. 23.5 rage regen. Olag random. He's got some 12s. I, my Olag's not even built. Okay, so uh, yeah. Actually build your Olag. 73k health. 6.5k defense. 135 attack speed. 32% rage regen. Um, random, I've got 12, let's, I mean, if I quick equip him, here we go, we get an extra 13, we lose 1,000 defense, I don't know why it wants him to have crit damage, but I'm not going to do that, but actually build your Oleg, he'll live much longer, but that is the team, all right, so that's, that's probably the simplest way that you can beat it without Valk, get your Ajax, actually put some better gear on some folks, right? The the gear threshold here compared to the other one that I was talking about, if you've seen it, I can't remember who did it. I, I can't remember where I saw it. I would I would link to them. Um, so I'm sorry, I can't give credit where credit is due, but uh, if, if you're interested in that specific run. But like I said, that had a lot higher gear thresholds and it was a lot more min-maxed with timings of movements. And um, so this one's much simpler, assuming you have Ajax. So I hope this was helpful. If you appreciated it, please support the channel, like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. I will see you in the next one.